Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. Today I'm just working on a little auto mix here. As you can see it's already turned on. Uh, we'll jump right into it. Uh, turning it on, simple. Press the button there, auto mix button. Turn it off, just like that. Now you notice the colors over here, the amber is uh, open tracks. These ones with the green, that's playback. I already recorded some stuff uh, prior. So these are playing back the actual auto mix data that I recorded earlier. Now in order to change these over, you hold down the auto mix button and let's see, we'll go to 13 there. That's arming it, red, ready to record. Of course, green's playback, amber again, nothing. So, say we're gonna do some recording on track 13, we'll just, uh, heck, why not? We've got it armed, ready to go. So now if you wanna do the recording, Hold the auto mix down and hit record. Now you see our auto mix lights flashing, it's armed and ready. So from there we just uh, play record, we go into it. Now it's gonna be recording anything we do for our fader. And for the balance. We'll just do that a couple times. Okay, that should be enough just to see what we're doing here. You know what? I think I have these two linked. Anyway. So, now to go back, we'll hold this down to go to play mode. And now when it plays back, we should see this one do some moving. That's it, that's how you do the auto function or auto mix function, which is uh, really nice to prep all your tracks and get them ready for the mastering stage. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you at the next video.